For example, the current emperor of Japan, Akihito, is the 125th generation of the same family to hold the imperial throne. Here he is laying a wreath, assisted by a U.S. Marine, at the National Memorial Cemetery in Honolulu, Hawaii. His father, Hirohito, was an emperor, seen here with Ronald Reagan in 1983. And his grandfather was an emperor, and his great-grandfather was an emperor, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so on, all the way back to Emperor Jimu, who began his rule in the year 660 B.C. The 7th century B.C. also marks, approximately, the beginning of Japan's indigenous religion, Shinto. As central to Shinto are kami. These are not gods, but spirits. More specifically, you could say that a kami is the essence of something. The kami of a tree, a rock formation, or animal, for example. Or when a loved one dies, they continue as a kami. The closest equivalent in Christianity would be an angel. Shinto is ritualistic and performed at Shinto shrines, easily identified by their, usually, orange entrance gate some of which are huge. People go to a Shinto shrine for a variety of reasons. Purification, to attend a festival, or to ask for good fortune in life, and many other things. Shinto is not a religion in the Western sense. In fact, many Japanese themselves say Shinto is not a religion. It's simply a way of life for many Japanese. This almost certainly explains why so many Japanese that partake in Shinto ceremony in one way or another are also Buddhist, the other major religion in Japan. Buddhism has been practiced in Japan for about 1500 years. This is the 13th century bronze statue of the Buddha at Kotoku Temple in Kamakura. Now, as in Christianity, Buddhism has many different branches, but I can tell you that the common link among them all is for the practitioner to work toward enlightenment, as represented by these 1000 statues at Sanju San Gendo in Kyoto. Now, enlightenment, also called nirvana, is pursued through the practice of meditation. Through meditation, you calm the body, the mind, and the spirit, and allow your misconceptions of the world to fade. The idea being that this allows you to more clearly see the world for how it truly is.